In today's vlog we will take you to Berlin and show you the best Christmas markets. In the German capital there are more than 70 Christmas markets, so we will tell you which ones are worth visiting and which ones you should avoid. Of course, we will also show you some delicious food and heartwarming Christmas drinks. Please stay with us and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with our travels. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today's vlog is quite special as we didn't have to travel anywhere. We are at our home in Berlin. So for many years we had a chance to visit a lot of different Christmas markets here and today we will take you on a tour to see the best ones. Normally there is over 70 different Christmas markets in the city, but this year for obvious reasons not all of them are running. However, this is not a problem as our favorite ones are open so we are really happy about it. Let's start with our favorite market that we faithfully return to every year. It is the Christmas market at the Gedächtniskirche on Breitscheidplatz. In other words, it's located directly on Kudam, which is the most popular shopping street in Berlin. This place may seem familiar to you because of the tragedy that took place here in 2016, but nevertheless, it is one of the most popular Christmas markets. This is by far the best one we've been to, with over 60 stalls with delicious food and beautiful handicrafts. Of course, the most popular drink at Christmas markets is mulled wine, but while we are here, make sure to try the Omas Eier Punch, which is something very similar to eggnog. It's a winter warm alcoholic drink consisting of egg yolk, rum, white wine and heavy cream, often served with extra whipped cream and cinnamon. Over the years, I've probably tried all of the eggnogs all over Berlin's Christmas markets and right here, at the stand you have just seen in the video, you can get the best one. I highly recommend trying it. At the German markets you will certainly notice the traditional gingerbread in the shape of a heart with motivational inscriptions made of icing. We really like all the wooden houses that work just like a restaurant where you can sit down, order food and warm up a bit so you don't have to spend all your time outside. You can get a taste of a traditional German cuisine all over the Christmas markets. You can expect a lot of potato dishes and sauerkraut. Fried mushrooms are also very popular here. We have to admit that the German Christmas markets have a really authentic atmosphere and do not feel very touristy. Also, most of the offered products are handmade and there is a very little of made in China merchandise. You can still feel that in Germany it is more of a tradition than a purely commercial venture. Let's move on to our second favorite Christmas market and also probably the most popular in Berlin. For a good reason, the Gendarmen Markt is simply magical. You have to remember that this market is not free and you have to pay 1 euro entrance fee. This year, just like in all the other markets, you need to show a vaccination certificate and your ID at the entrance. Visually, this is definitely the most beautiful market. What's more, here you can buy really unique handmade products and the food is pretty good too, if only you know where to go and what to order. We started with mulled wine and of course my beloved eggnog. Remember that there is a deposit for a cup, so we have to prepare a little more money than it is written in the price list. The price of mulled wine is usually around 4 euros without deposit and the cool thing is that in the last few years there hasn't been really any increase in this price. One of the dishes worth trying here is Kaiserschmarrn, a fluffy pancake served with the sauce, most often with vanilla and cherry. The one we ate was very delicious. Roasted nuts in different variations are also a traditional snack. They smell great and are hard to pass by without buying them. At the Gendarmenmarkt you will also be pleasantly surprised by a large stage with various performances that are even quite entertaining. A dish which we didn't particularly like here is raclette, which you will certainly smell already at the entrance. And not in a positive sense at all. The cheese is extremely aromatic and the taste rather poor. Instead, we recommend the delicious freshly baked Flammkuchen. 
The dish comes from the Saarland bordering France and is somewhat reminiscent of a pizza. The most traditional version is being served with sour cream, bacon and a sprinkle of chives. If you buy them at this stand you definitely won't regret it. In a very nicely decorated Austrian hut called Spessle and Champagne, as the name suggests, you can order Spessle and drink Champagne. Spessle are small noodles that are usually served gratinated with aromatic stretchy mountain cheese and chives. Here we decided to have the truffle variant, but we were a little disappointed because instead of truffles there was only some flavored truffle oil. In addition, the Spätzle were rather wet, taken straight out of the cooking water and sprinkled with a little amount of cheese at the end. So the taste was very average, even though we like Spätzle very much. At this market you will also find the Hungarian langosh and many potato dishes. An interesting dish is Reibekuchen, which are potato pancakes, traditionally served with applesauce and frankly speaking the combination is very successful. Another quite popular market is the Weihnachtsmarkt am Roten Rathaus. This time we went there during the daytime and that was a mistake, because in the evening the atmosphere is completely different. It's usually very vibrant and lively, so we definitely recommend going there after sunset. Despite everything, we always liked it here and the market definitely deserved to be on this list. When it comes to food, here we highly recommend you trying Quarkbällchen, which are balls of yeast dough with cheese curds deep fried. However, make sure they are freshly made, they are not that tasty when they are cold. What might be interesting to some of you, at this market you will find plenty of activities for kids, including a ferris wheel, carousel, ice rink and a train. Other interesting delicacies that you can find here include baked sheep cheese sandwiches, a dish a la Gouras, or a Berlin speciality, currywurst with fries. Markets in Berlin usually take place from the end of November. November 22nd is the official opening date for many of them. They usually end either on Christmas or late December and few run even until January. The next stop is the Christmas market at Alexanderplatz. It's not our favorite and it's also not the one we recommend. In fact, we've included it here as a warning, as it's still one of the most popular ones in Berlin. It is a place visited mainly by tourists and the stalls are full of t-shirts with wannabe funny inscriptions and made in China cheap toys. Definitely don't do any Christmas shopping here. When it comes to food you will find a standard cross-section, from the aforementioned Quarkbällchen to roast almonds, mushrooms, bratwursts and pancakes with Nutella. The setting of the market itself also does not really contribute to a Christmas feeling at all. The last fair we really wanted to include in our list is the Weihnachtsmarkt at Charlottenburg Palace. Unfortunately this year the organizer cancelled, but we hope that next year it will return in its full splendor. Instead we will take you to the popular winter wonderland on Potsdamer Platz. Unfortunately this year due to restrictions it was much smaller than usual and it disappointed us a little bit. Located among modern skyscrapers, the market is only one to offer the largest mobile slope and it costs only one and a half euro to ride down on an inflatable rubber ring. In a typical German style, you can't pay by card at these stands here, so make sure you bring enough cash. The eggnog was definitely the strongest here, but that doesn't mean it was the best one. At this fair we ate a typical German Krakauer in a row, because we are not huge fans of the classic Bratwurst. We 
We hope you enjoyed our vlog and if so, make sure to leave the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with our travels.